In this video, I'll present an introduction to the AI Vision FX plugin. This program enables you to transform photos and images into anything you can imagine, from cartoon characters to futuristic fantasy, classic or modern art, science fiction and anime, and much more, backed by the power of generative AI. Just provide a text prompt describing your idea, adjust a few simple settings, and the plugin generates several options to bring your ideas to life. Once your family photo or landscape image is transformed, and you choose your favorite result, bring it back into your Corel program for final polishing or editing. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links in the description below for additional information and resources, bonus tips, FAQs, and some sample prompts to get you started. In this example, I'm starting in PaintShop Pro, though the AI Vision FX plugin can also be accessed from Corel Draw, Photo Paint, and Painter, as well as other applications including Adobe Photoshop and Affinity. I'm starting with this forest image, resized to 512 pixels on the longer side. 512 is the preferred size for generative AI, and this size will optimize processing time. As you'll see, generative AI is resource heavy and smaller images get processed much faster. In order to preserve the original image, I'll duplicate the background layer and leave the copied layer active. From the main menu, I'll choose Effects, Plugins, Vision FX, Vision FX. Note that in Corel Draw, I would have to start with an imported raster image, and I would access the plugin option from the Bitmaps menu. The plugin UI is pretty straightforward, but there is a bit of a learning curve to get the results you want. A sample prompt is provided at the top right, with comma-separated terms specifying a detailed digital painting in the style of Van Gogh, with mystical colors and beautiful lighting. The Strength slider controls how much the AI results will deviate from the original. As strength increases, less of the original image will appear in the results. Similarly, text guidance controls how strictly the text prompts will be adhered to. Starting seed is a random number that can be regenerated if needed. This is the number used to generate the first AI result, and the other four will use consecutive seed values starting from this number. The steps slider controls quality and speed. A high number of steps will produce better results, but will take longer. Sticking with the default values, I'll click Run to start generating the five options. Creating AI art is a resource heavy operation so it might take some time to complete all five. As options are generated, I can click on each to see which one I like best. The seed values for these options are consecutive starting from the original value. The slider on the image itself can be used to compare the AI version to the original. At the default strength and text guidance values, the trees in each option are more or less true to the original, while the AI engine has added the Van Gogh style specified in the prompt. Some options even have additional Van Gogh elements, such as structures and people. If I don't love any of the results, I can click Reset, which fills in a new random starting seed value. Clicking Run again will produce another five options based on the same settings. I'm going to choose only one of these, but if I wanted to get the same set of five results again, I would first note these exact settings, including the seed value, to run again later. Let's say I love this result, so I'll select it and click Save. This closes the plugin and brings me back to PaintShop Pro, where the copied layer has been replaced with the AI result I chose. Because I started with a pretty small image, I can use Image Resize to make it larger, using the Advanced and AI-powered settings to upsample the image. To see how the results would look with different values, I'll make another copy of the original layer, then go back to the Effects menu where Vision FX is now included as an option. This time I'll go with higher strength and text guidance. There are still trees in these results, though each option looks less like the original forest image and more like a Van Gogh painting. I'll save this result and return to PaintShop Pro. Trying again on a third layer copy, increasing the strength and text guidance values even more, produces results that are now less forest and more Van Gogh. For my second example, I'm using a city skyline photo 
entering a text prompt starting with futuristic and sci-fi. The best practice is to be ultra-specific with your prompts and start with a few terms that summarize the end result you're looking for. Subsequent terms should mainly contain adjectives that describe or enhance the style description. I've added space wars, skyscrapers under attack, huge explosions, full-scale battle for survival, alien invasion, spaceships, ominous, dystopian, dark, dramatic, and terrifying. Here's what I get with the default values. Trying again with a lower strength value keeps the city a bit more intact, and a high text guidance value applies the prompt terms more strongly. Now let's look at what we can do with a portrait. This set of prompts for a sci-fi high-tech comic book style includes popular rendering terms such as photorealistic, volumetric lighting, octane render, mix of Western and Eastern art styles, and detailed 4K. For another example, these prompts include anime, action movie, fan art, color manga visual style, and many more descriptors. You can even bring your pets into the fun. Here's my house cat in a tie, turned into a sheriff in a dusty saloon in the Old West. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the AI Vision FX plugin. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links below on this page for additional resources including sample prompts to get you started.